What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we've got about two months to go before the end of 2023. And in this video, I want to give you guys, my fellow global players, an idea of what we can expect as far as major releases go for the rest of the year so that you guys can decide how you want to allocate your stones and what you want to save for and all that good stuff. Now, what I can't do is give you an exact release date for most of these units because honestly, I don't really know. Things get switched up all the time. Basically, all of the units we talk about, we cover in this video, will be releasing between now and December 31st, 2023. Before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Uh, you guys might have heard of them before. It's Raid Shadow Legends. I mean... At this point, you guys already know the deal. It's the game with amazing graphics, professional voice acting, over 80 million downloads, 700 plus champions to collect, and my personal favorite feature, the epic boss fights. Let me introduce you to the newest clan boss, the Hydra. We're talking about six devastating heads, each with its own unique ability to make your champions suffer. Take for example, the Head of Torment. As its name implies, this one is all about instilling fear into the hearts of your champions, causing you to lose access to your best abilities. Then we have the Head of Wrath. This guy has a big temper and trust me, you won't like him when he's mad. Good luck guys. You're also just in time for the spooky Halloween event that has plenty of prizes for all players. To participate, you just gotta download the game through the link in my description and then head over to radiard.playerium.com. From there, you can enter your player ID for a chance to win tons of amazing gifts from Amazon gift cards to powerful in-game items and champions with a total value of $20,000. So. What are you waiting for? Click on the link in my description or scan the QR code on the screen to receive a free starter pack and begin your raid journey today. Once again, shout out to Raid for sponsoring the channel and this video. And if somehow you haven't heard of this game before, feel free to go check them out. So uh, yeah, now let's take a look at the remaining releases on Global for 2023, honestly. Uh, this might be the last video of this kind on this channel um, forever because sooner than later, Global and JP will be getting synced up and we'll be getting simultaneous releases for everything. Uh, for now, we're not there yet, but we're moving in that direction. So uh, I'm going to cherish this one for sure. So uh, first things first, let's talk about the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Honestly, this is probably still the most anticipated release for global this year and i would guess that's going to be the next uh big banner to drop on global sometime at the end of this month slash beginning of november once again i'm not sure because things could always change but he's most likely dropping next so uh, yeah let's start with the regular super saiyan 4 goku first because you only get to super full power saiyan 4 goku after the standby phase so his leader skill is GT Heroes or Full Power, Category K plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans category. His 12k super raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and greatly lowers attack. And his 18k super raises defense for four turns and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is K plus 3. Attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained plus an additional attack plus 70% and high chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 70% within the same turn and defense plus 70% for 3 turns after evading an attack or receiving an attack. Reduces damage received by 20% plus an additional defense plus 70% and reduces damage received by 20% as the first attacker in the turn. The standby skill here can be activated after receiving 5 or more attacks during battle, and you switch the standby for 4 turns, gain 2 charge counter per int or rainbow key sphere, 
obtained for all allies and one charge counter per type key sphere obtained. Int excluded. Links are Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, GT, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Roar, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So that is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Once you pop that standby skill, you become a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Majub. And obviously the leader skill stays the same. Uh, no super attack. Passive is defense plus 300%. Reduces damage received by 10% per type key sphere obtained. And guards all attacks with 3 or more type key spheres obtained for one turn from start of turn. All allies keep plus 3 and defense plus 70%. For two turns from start of turn, randomly changes one type of key sphere. Or sorry, changes one key spheres of a certain type, which is the same thing I said. Int excluded to int key spheres and nullifies unarmed super attacks directed at the character. So we have two finish attacks as always. The first one can be activated when charge counter is 29 or less, and this one recovers 30% HP and key plus three for three turns. Now obviously you want the second finish attack, which can be activated when charge counter is 30 or more, and this turns you into super full power Saiyan 4 Goku. So let's talk about this super full power Saiyan 4 Goku. His 12k super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and greatly lowers attack. His 18k super greatly raises attack for one turn, and raises defense for four turns, and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is recovers 77% HP, once only guards all attacks for one turn, and performs a critical hit for three turns from start of turn. E plus 7 and attack and defense plus 200%, key plus 2 per int key sphere or rainbow key sphere obtained, plus an additional key plus 1 per type key sphere obtained, int excluded, and then plus an additional attack plus 150% when performing a super attack and great chance of performing a critical hit if it is an ultra super attack, plus an additional attack plus 59% and performs a critical hit when key is 24, plus an additional defense plus 77% for 5 turns after evading an attack or receiving an attack, reduces damage received by 25%, uh, defense plus 77% and reduces damage received by 25% as the first attacker in a turn. And his links are Super Saiyan Shocking Speed, GT, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Roar, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And he's got a boatload of categories, which I'm not going to name, but you guys can see them. Uh, this guy is obviously very, very powerful. Um, is he the best unit in the game at this point? Uh, probably not. I think that he has dropped on a lot of people's lists, but I don't really care about that. I don't really care about that. What I care about is that he is still an absolute monster and it is a full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I'm going to be summoning. Um, I'm super stoked for this guy. He's probably my number one uh, most hyped unit uh, for the rest of this year, even though there's going to be a bunch of others, which we'll get into. But this guy is definitely number one on my list. So that is the first thing. He does come with a banner unit too, which is this baby. Uh, I'm not going to get into his details because I don't want this video to run too long. It's already getting very long, actually. But uh, yeah, this baby comes with the Goku. And the next thing is actually something that we don't have details for yet because we just got a teaser on uh, the global Twitter page a few days ago, or X page, I guess. Um, and it's going to be for the next Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Super Dragon Ball Heroes collab, which happens every single year. And this one is uh, possibly the most exciting one in many years because we're finally getting a Super Saiyan 3 Rosé. To be exact, it is the Crimson Mass Saiyan Super Saiyan Rosé 3. He has a transformation, as you can see here, and we also are getting a Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito Zeno as well. So two of the uh, most highly anticipated just most hype uh heroes characters possible are dropping this year and uh, we're also getting this toa which is which is pretty cool everyone loves toa and we're getting token awakenings for this golden metal cooler and also the modified janemba from last year's collab who uh, obviously didn't have token awakenings this is what their art looks like 
And uh, I would imagine there's going to be more new units, but the ones we know about right now are Toa and uh, the Vegito and Rosé. So pretty exciting stuff. The release date is actually on the image here. It says uh, November 21st to December 6th. So we are actually still a month out basically, but this is our first look at this year's Saiyan units and Saiyan, or sorry, not Saiyan, this year's Heroes units and Heroes collab. Oh, yo, I just realized that I was so excited to talk about the hero stuff that I completely skipped over my boy Omega Shenron, who should be coming right after the full power of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, in fact, we should be getting Omega Shenron before the heroes collab, because that just makes sense, right? So that's my bad. Um, whatever, I did say in the beginning that I'm not giving you exact release dates, it's just like sometime before the end of the year, so it's fine. But yeah, we should be getting Omega in like, I don't know, mid-November um, before the Heroes collab drops. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this guy. Leader skill. Uh, GT bosses, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 200%, 12 key super, raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Uh, 18 key super, greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense, and seals super attack. Passive activates the entrance animation upon entry once only, changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres for 7 turns, all enemies attack and defense minus 25%, key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 200%, plus an additional attack plus 20% up to 150% with each super attack, sorry, each attack performed. Plus an additional key plus one and reduces damage received by 5% per GT boss's category ally on the team. Plus an additional damage reduction of 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. So that's going to be a lot of damage reduction, especially on a full GT boss's team. Um, if HP is 50% or less at the start of character's attacking turn, revives with 70% recovered when the character or an ally attacking the same turn is KO'd once only. Attacks effective against all types and launches an additional super attack starting from the turn in which the character's revival skill is activated. His active skill can be activated starting from the third turn from start of battle and the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status or starting from the sixth turn from start of battle and it greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage and lowers attack and defense by 30% for one turn, disables the enemy's action once within the turn. And his links are Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, GT, Fear and Faith, Shadow Dragons, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So not going to spend too much time here because we still got some other units to get to, but this dude I think is actually really good, especially for a villain unit. I think he's going to be, or he is, a top tier villain unit. Um, he's the first like proper GT bosses lead as well. And uh, even outside of the full GT boss's team, he's still going to do very well. But obviously, he's meant to be the leader of the GT boss's team. And you're meant to run him with a full GT boss's team. So that's where he's going to perform best. But um, overall, just a really, really strong unit. So that is Omega Shenron. Also stoked for him. Now let's talk about this. Uh, super Trunks or Super Saiyan Teen Trunks that transforms into Super Trunks. Um, in a lot of ways, he is just like an upgraded version of the STR Super Vegeta we got a few years ago. So uh, his leader skill is Mastered Evolution or Android slash Cell Saga category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30%. For characters who also belong to the Rapid Growth or Earth Red Fighters category. Uh, super Attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And Passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100%. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack and high chance of guarding all attacks with 3 or more Android slash Cell Saga allies on the team, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% when performing a super attack, attacks effective against all types, when there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, and transforms when conditions are met. And he transforms starting from the next turn after performing 5 or more attacks in battle or starting 
from the fifth turn when there is an enemy enemy whose name includes cell junior excluded active skill can be activated starting from the third turn when hp is 60 percent or more and it greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy disables enemy's action once within the turn uh links are golden warrior messenger from the future super saiyan royal lineage prepare for battle soul versus soul and fears battle and now let's take a look at super trunks his super attack is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage all attacks become critical hits for one turn so basically guaranteed crits uh, passive key plus four attack and defense plus 300 percent launches an additional super attack and guards all attacks for three turns from start of turn plus an additional attack and defense boost by up to 200 percent depending on your remaining hp the greater hp the greater the boost plus an additional attack and defense plus 100 percent when performing a super attack and stuns enemies attacked by the character's super attack active skill can be activated when hp is 60 percent or more or when there is an enemy whose name includes cell junior excluded and the effect massively raises attack temporarily causes ultimate damage delays enemies attacks for one turn uh, within the turn activated and all attacks become critical hits um links stay the same as before as you can see so uh, that is the tech super trunks um a very solid very solid dokkan fest unit um i don't think he's the craziest i think he's quite good um but that's about it so that is the tech super trunks uh his banner unit is this str youth super saiyan gohan who i'm not going to get into uh details about because we're running low on time but you guys can take a look at his kit if you would like by pausing the screen next up we have a unit that i don't think a lot of people are necessarily marking their calendars for or at least not really saving their stones for but personally i am still kind of intrigued simply because my girl android 18 is part of the unit so yeah we have the int uh android 17 and 18 and their leader skill is tournament participants or sibling spawn category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus hp attack and defense plus 30 percent for characters who also belong to the reps of u7 or joined forces category their regular super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and their unit super attack massively raises attack and defense for one turn causes immense damage and raises all allies attack and defense by 35 percent for two turns self excluded and uh, you can get this unit super attack when there's an ally whose name includes goku attacking in the same turn not including youth captain ginyu jr etc passive uh oh my god it's so long activates the entrance animation once only and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type int excluded to rainbow spheres for four turns from start of turn when there's another reps of u7 category ally on the team at start of characters attacking turn attack plus 170 percent and defense plus 180 percent because 17 and 18 plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent and reduces damage received by 35 percent when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 50 percent and high chance performing a critical hit with seven or more key spheres obtained tournament participants category allies key plus two attack and defense plus 35 percent and an additional key plus one attack plus 17 percent and defense plus 18 percent with seven or more key spheres obtained so with seven key spheres you're giving tournament participants uh allies e plus three and attack plus uh 52 percent defense plus 53 percent which is really really good obviously for a support passive on top of this support from their unit super attack so they're providing a huge boost basically to uh your team especially tournament participants allies um from there we have plus an additional attack plus 59 percent when performing a super attack and for c's super attacks when there is an ally whose name includes goku uh, youth captain ginyu jr etc excluded attacking in the same turn so basically if you have a goku on your team then uh these guys are very useful they're really useful they're gonna be pretty powerful but they just have a lot of good utility from a support and uh 
just utility perspective, I guess, with the seeing of super attacks, that's always an extremely useful uh, part of any unit's kit, right? So definitely intrigued by this unit, definitely hope to pull them. I'm not going to go crazy for them. I'm not going to spend a ton of stones, but definitely want these guys for sure. And uh, we also have the active skill can be activated when HP is 78% or less starting from the fifth turn from start of battle eight times only. <laughs> this can be used eight times and um, it changes tech key spheres to int key spheres. So not the most powerful effect, obviously a very useful effect, but it can be used eight times. So um, yeah, I like it. It's unique. It's, it's different from what we're used to, where like most active skills are only used once. This one can be used eight times. And links are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Infinite Energy, uh, Tracking Speed, Term of Power, The Innocence, and Fierce Battle. And the unit, uh, the banner unit for these guys is this one right here. And I have to read their names because I don't remember what they're called. Uh, Universe 2, Zerloin, Rabanra, and Zarbuto. There you go. These guys are part of that banner too with the androids. And last but not least, we have this unit right here. This LR. The LR, uh, Rebrian, Kakunsa, and Rosie. Now, I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be enough time in 2023 to actually fit them into the release schedule or if they're going to be coming uh, in early 2024. Like, obviously, January 2024. Um, but... Yeah, they will be coming after these androids, for sure, so I guess we'll talk about them as well. Real quick, leader skill, special pose, or power of wishes, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%, buff key super, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, 18 key super, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage, and this passive is... Pretty wild. Uh, if there are two or more tournament participants, category allies, as start of characters attacking turn, activates the entrance animation once only, changes STR, AGL, and Fizz key spheres to tech key spheres within the same turn, and key plus three for three turns from start of turn. Key plus three, attack and defense plus 122%, changes STR key spheres to tech key spheres, medium chance of changing AGL key spheres to tech key spheres and medium chance of changing Fizz Key Spheres to Tech Key Spheres, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 66% or more when attacking, launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when there is another Universe Survival Saga, category ally attacking on the same turn or enemy, plus an additional key plus 2 attack and defense plus 122% when attacking and reduces damage received by 22% with 2 or more type Key Spheres obtained, chance of performing a critical hit plus 22% up to 66% with each time the character obtains two key spheres within the same turn. Uh, we also have the giant form Rebrienne transformation. It turns into giant form for two turns. It can be activated when there is another power of wishes category ally attacking on the same turn uh, when HP is 66% or less or can be activated starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only. And their links are more than meets the eye, Metamorphosis, Battlefield Diva, Signature Pose, Term of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. I think this unit is actually very interesting. I think they're actually uh, quite a fun unit, especially with all the orb changing. And uh, performance-wise, I think they can actually do really well in you know some of the harder events in the game. So I think it's actually a really good LR. Maybe not like top 5 or anything, but definitely good. Definitely good. And if you are... A fan of the you know universe 2 girls then this one's for you uh, oh let's talk about the giant form so like most giant form transformations you are invincible in this form uh, the 12 key super causes destructive damage 18 key super greatly raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage and passive is key plus 2 Earth key sphere obtained changes str key spheres to tech key spheres and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type STR and tech excluded to rainbow key spheres, high chance of performing a critical hit. So that is the Rebrian, or uh, actually the Universe 2 Girls, Rebrian, Rosie, and Kakunsa. And there you have it, guys. There is your preview for the remaining release schedule for Global for 2023. Um, like I said, there's a chance that 
either these girls or maybe another unit I talked about could be left off the list and released early 2024, but I do think there will be enough time to get all of these out before the year ends, especially now that they're trying to catch Global up to JP. Um, I think that the releases will be coming fast and furious, so um, I guess get those stones ready, and if you are pay to play, then get those wallets ready, because uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff dropping on Global in quick succession, like this guy, for example, and also these guys. So uh, that's it guys, that is the video. Let me know in the comments which of these units we talked about you're the most excited for, they're gonna be saving your stones for. I think a lot of people will say super full power saving for Goku, but if something else, if it's the Universe 2 girls, no judgment, let us know. And uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.